What's good, y'all? Back with another vlog. Uh, today, I'm actually answering a question that gets asked to me so often. How do I edit my photos for Instagram? You know, what presets do I use? What editing adjustments do I make uh, to accommodate for Instagram? Basically, de-quality or taking the quality away from just about every photo you upload. So, let's get right into it. We're gonna start with the photo shoot I did yesterday. I took some shots out in front of my house. Um, I actually uploaded this to Instagram already, but I'm gonna take you guys through a step-by-step -step on how I edited it, you know, what preset I used, and where the preset even came from. Uh, so, I know you guys are Drake fans. You know, I, I Drake dropped the uh, demo tape album cover, and it's got a little grainy filter over the photo, and it was, it was dope. Um, but what I did was I went on, um, I think I found the preset from Creative Ryan, you know, shout out my guy, Creative Ryan. Um, he's a real big influence on how I edit my photos and how I learned uh, to edit my photos. Um, but I, he dropped a package of presets for Lightroom, you know, so I already got the photo up here. Um, so I go ahead and I click over to my user presets. And these are all the presets that I've either found, uh, I paid for in, in the past, or um, some that I made on my own. You know, I found some presets and I adjusted them to according, you know, according to the, the, the photos that I take in my style of photo. So I've already got my photo uploaded to Lightroom. Um, so the first thing I do is go over here and I grab my presets. Uh, I actually renamed this uh, the Drake Granny Vibes uh, just because, you know, I kind of mimicked Drake's album cover and I mimicked a couple of photos that I seen Drake post on his Instagram. Um, so it's easy to find. I go over and click over on my preset. And the first thing I do is I automatically adjust the exposure in the shadow for this photo. Uh, because what this preset does, is gonna make the photo real dark and real heavy and you really can't see the content in the photo. First thing I do is I go over and change my exposure, bring my exposure up, or I'm gonna bring this back down a little bit. That's a little overexposed, and I bring my shadows up. Uh, the next thing I do is I go and I adjust my grain. Um, so with this preset, the grain it brings the grain all the way up. You know, I like to I like my grain uh, to sit around 60 to 65, depending on the photo. You know, each photo is gonna have a different uh, different style. You know, a different uh, sense of exposure, I guess. So I'm adjusting the light here. I bring my grain size down too. So it's not, it's still grainy, but it's not uh, overly powered. The next thing I'm gonna do is go over here and adjust my colors. You know, the freedom that you get with taking a raw photo compared to a JPEG is you have the freedom to adjust your, your exposure, your lighting. You can really, really alter the photo however you want to. Um, that's, that's why I take all my photos in raw. You know, there's nothing wrong with taking a photo in a JPEG format. Um, the JPEG is easier to open on your, you know, on your software, whatever you're editing on. I use the iPad because I don't have a Mac. I don't have an iMac monitor yet. Uh, you know, my iPad only holds 32 gigs of storage. So, you know, with that being said, it's easier for me to take both. Um, so I can open them and inspect my photos a little easier uh, in this JPEG form. But I edit all my photos in RAW. So all those out there who are interested in, you know, learning how to adjust and edit your photos in Lightroom, uh, the number one tip I will give you guys is to take your photos in a JPEG and a RAW format. Uh, the JPEG's easier to open, you know, if you take a photo in a RAW format, it, it, you, you get this weird, weird crazy loading uh, wheel that just spins and spins and spins and you can't open your photos, so take them in both, you know what I'm saying, it's easier to open and a RAW photo is easier to edit, you know, you get the freedom to edit just about any portion of the photo you want to. Um, but I'm coming over here to my color mix and all I'm doing is adjusting the color here, color tones. Uh, what that does, it allows me to make my skin tone pop. Um, you can see here, if I bring the saturation down my skin, I look hella ashy, which is <laughs> just not not the move for me. Um, so I'm gonna go over here and adjust my oranges, adjust my reds a little bit, make my skin a little, a little more popish, you know what I'm saying? And then come right back here. From there, I'll go right back into this light segment here. And all I'm doing here is adjusting certain areas of the photo that I wanna bring and bring up a little more, make, make pop a little more. Um, this is a dark photo. The photo was, was the photo was already dark. Like this is the raw photo before it got uh, through any edits on it. So the photo was already dark as it is. So I don't really have to adjust too much um, as far as making the photo darker. But what I am going to do is change the geometry and distort the photo to make bring myself closer to the photo to the image and make myself look a little, look a little more of the foreground. Um, you know. But this is how I edit all my all my grainy photos. Um, from then. Here's how I accommodate for Instagram, you know, taking away from the quality. I always sharpen my photos um, around 60 to 75. What that does is um, it sharpens the photo, it over sharpens the photo to a point where when you upload to Instagram, Instagram's already gonna take some quality away from what you post. So this keeps the content clear, it keeps it sharp, you know. Uh, being a creative, I am a little bit of a perfectionist. You know, I like my photos to be sharp 
you know, especially when I'm throwing some grain on them. Um, so after I sharpen the 75, I bring my clarity up, you know, no higher than 15 or 16. Um, throw a little vignette on there, you know, make it, make the photo look a little more cinematic. And that is an edit. Real smooth, real simple. If you guys have any more questions, you know, you guys want to see me edit some more photos. You guys want to see where I get my presets from. Anything, make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe this video. Um, I'm going to be doing more of these tutorials on how I edit my videos, how I edit my photos, and just a little more daily vlogs, you know what I'm saying? All my creators out here in California and the OC, you know, Inland Empire area, tap in with me, you know what I'm saying? I would love to get some feedback from you guys. I'm not the best photographer or the best editor out there, you know, but I like to think that, you know, through my five, six years of experience, I've learned a lot and I can still learn more. Uh, so again, if you guys have any more questions, drop them in the comments, you know what I'm saying? I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. Uh, follow me on IG, you know, at I am Dave Perkins. Uh, and I'll catch up with y'all later. Peace.